Yes, come in. Hello, uh, this is 1 Main Street, Northampton, NN17AL. Yes, it is. I'm looking for Ms. Rondo. Uh, I'm Rondo. Right? Um, I'm Paula. Um, I'm the community nurse. I was asked by your GP to come and visit you today just to help you do your PEFR or your peak expiratory flow rate. Are you expecting me? Yes, I was. Uh, that's great. Um, can I come in? Yes, you will come in. So before anything else, do you have any pets or children um, inside the house? No, I live alone. Good. So, um, as I enter the patient's property, I'll make sure that I close the door to provide privacy, dignity, and ensure safety. John, is there a sink or hand gel I could use so I could um, do my hand hygiene? Yes, I've prepared a hand gel for you there. Thank you. So, I'll do my hand hygiene using the WHO guidelines for hand hygiene. So, palm to palm, back of the hands, fingers interlace, fingers interlock, rotational thing of the thumb, fingertips, fingertips and let it air dry for 30 seconds. So John, before we start, I just wanted to verify your name and date of birth as I countercheck it with your uh, documentation just to ensure I'm talking to the right patient. Yes, it's John Doe, it's one one sixty nine. Yes, and can I verify as well, do you have any allergies to food, drugs, or latex? None. That's good. Um, it's also written in my documentation. Can I verify that you are 53 years old and your height is 165 centimeters? That's correct. It's good, so I'm quite happy to verify that I'm the right patient. So as I've said earlier on, I am here as I was asked by your GP to do your PEFR or your peak expiratory flow rate, mm -hmm. just to ensure your peak expiratory flow, um, to ensure that we are giving you the right dose of inhaler. That's am I getting your consent for this procedure? Yes. That's good. So I will just be preparing my equipment, which is on the side, um, the peak flow. Uh, meter and your mouth. After doing my hand hygiene, I will ensure to wear my PPE which I have with me. Okay, this is my patient. And wear the appropriate size glove. So, Miss Examiner, is my tray disposable or reusable? Disposable. Disposable. So I, I'm happy to use um, the tray. I can see that it's visibly clean. So is my peak flow um, brand new or has been used already? It is brand new. So I'm happy to use this one. It's uh, dry and intact. Um, if my peak flow meter is um, not brand new, I'll ensure that it's not uh, one year um, that it's been used. So I have here um, two uh, mouthpiece. So this one is the disposable mouthpiece. This one is the reusable one. So I'm happy to proceed to my patient. Hello, John. I'm back with the equipment. So first, I will be, as I've mentioned earlier on, I will be giving you instructions first. So don't worry. Um, and then once you're happy to do it by yourself, uh, we can proceed. Is that okay? That's fine. Right. First of all, I have to ensure that you're sitting in an upright position. Can you do that or do you want me to help you? I'm okay. Right. So I'll show you first. So this is your peak flow meter. Mm -hmm. So you have to ensure that the needle gauge is down to zero. And then you have to attach the mouthpiece. So this one is, uh, um, you can just wash this. Both of these you can just wash and let it um, air dry ready for the next use. The other one I showed earlier was the disposable okay. one. Okay? Okay. So um, next step is you have to ensure that you hold the peak flow meter horizontally and make sure that your fingers does not impede the needle gauge. Okay. And then I will be asking you to take a deep um, breath using full inspiration through your mouth and then immediately you have to put your lips tightly to the mouthpiece ensuring a tight seal. Is that okay? Is That's that fine. clear? Yeah. And then after that you have to blow as forcefully as you can through the mouthpiece using a short sharp cup. Okay. Are you able to follow the instructions? Yes. So we will be doing this for three times. So I will be recording the highest of all three readings and ensure that I get the highest reading. Mm -hmm. I will be documenting this and inform your GP about this one. In an occasion wherein there's 40 um, difference on each uh, reading, we will be doing another two. So a total of five readings will be done. Okay. Are my instructions clear? Yes. Are you happy to do the procedure now? Yes. Okay, so I'm handing you the peak flow meter. So I'm holding it horizontally. Hot. So result is 550. So Ms. Examiner, 
550. Yes. So I'm gonna put the needle uh, gauge back to zero now. So um, in between this, I'll, I'll allow you to have some time of rest just because this could cause lightheadedness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you ready for this? So holding it horizontally, inhaling. Ha. Huh. Five sixty, Ms. Examiner. So putting it back to zero again. Okay. So are you ready for the last one? Yes. So holding it horizontally, inhaling. Ha. Huh. So five seventy. So putting it back to zero. So I'm going to be uh, putting this in the tray and as I've said, these are reusable so that just needs washing with um, soap and water and let it air dry for re ready for the next use. Is that okay? That's fine. So I'll be recording your um, readings and I will be um, telling you the result later on. Is that okay? That's fine. Thank you for your time. I'll just quickly remove this and remove my TV. I'm back with the results. Mm -hmm. Are you still comfortable? Yes. That's good. So from the three readings, your highest reading was 570. For your age and your height, the normal is 580. So there's a uh, 10 uh, difference. So I'll be informing your GP about this one and uh, the GP will inform you of the next uh, plan about your um, inhaler dose. Is that okay? That's fine. I will be leaving the number of the GP and the district nurses. So if you've got any concerns or queries, you can just um, ring us so we can support you. Is that okay? That's okay. Have you got any concerns or questions? No. Again, thank you for your time. Um, I'll be um, leaving now. So I'll be closing my station using hand -free. Air dry for 30 seconds.